So, welcome back to my vlog. Currently, Oscar's gonna clean the litter box, and I'm heading out to a woman's, uh, not a woman's event, I'm lying, a marriage uh, event, a couple's event. Then we're coming back to pick up Oscar because he graduated from eighth grade and we're taking him out today. So, it's gonna be a fun day. So, follow along with us on a very special outing for my eighth grader. Um, I didn't vlog his eighth grade graduation, but I'll probably add a little clip here. Movie, <laughs> you scared? Uh, oh, my. Go, baby. Go, baby. Let's go. So, guys, we just got out of the marriage, like, class or conference, whatever you call it. What's wrong with my music? And... I left there just... Oh, wait, do I have the... I left there, like, how do I explain this? Grateful that he's my husband, if that makes any sense. You know, you know, sometimes, like, you listen or you look around... So stop or no? Yeah, stop. That you look around or you listen and you're like, wow, like, I'm glad that he... That this is who I chose to marry and it wasn't someone else or something, you know? So, I think those conferences or classes are very, very key. So, if you're married... You should definitely look into investing in your marriage. place to be it was literally the place to be it's so like good. i got some chicken and waffles um i'll send carla the picture it was like they gave me basically half half of a chicken just like pastor said it was half of a chicken on a knife it was a chicken wing a chicken a drumstick and a chicken breast and one of the so first of all where's the camera because i look crooked eye oh right here ah. and oh my God. and it had a huge waffle huge waffle in just i was getting hit with flavor like left right punch punch <laughs> what about you, Oscar? Oscar had the most. Look, he had to put the shades on because he's done. Yeah. I had the California quesadilla. California quesadilla roll. Guys, it was so good. All right, guys. Well, now we're gonna go to the park. And to Elizabeth Park. It's a nice park in this area that we're gonna go to. Are we actually? Do we have a vlog on that in that park? Yes, we do. We have a vlog. We the one where before. we're gonna get hit by the tornado. We'll play a clip of it right now. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, guys. Catch you guys, guys. This park is so nice. I really like this park. I'm waiting for Ruben. He's supposed to be getting supposedly a scooter. I don't know where he, where he gonna find. <laughs> I'm telling you, Ruben is something else. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. This is my husband right here coming. He left the kids all the way back there. <laughs> this place is so pretty. Dale, Moku. No, it's really. I'm. I'm usually more of a scaredy cat with stuff. Go ahead now. today's vlog or video whatever <laughs> it's a little different because um i'm actually gonna be going into an appointment in a few minutes um it is not an ob appointment um it is actually i'm gonna get tested for adhd i know um it's been a long journey i didn't think or dared to ever do this um but i'm glad that i had the courage and the guts to make the appointment i had to wait almost two months for this appointment uh but it it's here um i will definitely let you guys know i have no idea what we're gonna be talking about what the test looks like i don't i have no idea all i know is that i think it's about almost two hours long that i'm gonna be at this appointment um so i'm gonna have some breakfast but look 
at what they wrote on my breakfast sandwich. It says, keep pushing. You're almost at the finish line. I don't know, I just feel like I needed that. I really needed that. That was super sweet of, of the people at Burger King. Um, I don't know, I just thought that was nice. So I will let you guys know, I'm feeling a little nervous um, cause I don't know what I'm gonna, like, I just don't know what to expect. Um, but maybe that's a good thing because sometimes when I do know what to expect then I overthink of what I'm gonna say and all that. And this time around, I have no idea. So, um, this is my first ever test for this. Um, and I'll get into more details once I'm done with this appointment. So let me finish my breakfast cause I want to be up there, um, at least 15 minutes before my appointment starts. So I'll catch you guys later. I know this angle is not the best. Whew, wait. That was intense in the sense of the tests, all the tests. It was like about three paper tests and two computer tests. One of the paper tests had 344 questions. I was there for two hours and a half. Oh lordy, I don't get results yet. They'll she'll she will send me the report when she's finished. Um, so I have no idea what what she's gonna say. Um, she did tell me that um, sorry. she wanted me to, or she recommends for me to see someone, you know, like a counselor or something. Um, so she's going to be putting that in her report, like recommendations as well. So that's good. Um, but yeah, guys, I have no idea what the outcome will be. Um, but once I know, I would definitely, you know, say something, let you guys know. Other than that, I am tired. And then at one o'clock, I have my OB appointment. So, oh yeah, an update on that. I was transferred to the um maternal fetal medicine uh like the high risk team uh just for precaution also want to let you guys know that all my tests that i've done genetic testing the cvs and all that so far everything came back normal so that is good that is very good but yeah guys um i will let you guys know what the report says but if you have adhd or if you were di diagnosed with adhd as an adult comment below um again i might not even have it i it could be something else that's going on with me who knows but comment below if you do have that because i'm interested in finding out or in knowing um what that is like okay so catch you guys later i am looking crazy but i'm here at my new ob doctor I don't know what they're gonna do today. Um, but I am familiar with this place because this is also where they send me to get ultrasounds. But on the other side is their um, maternal fetal medicine. So this is my first appointment. I've had, I feel so overwhelmed today. Like, it is my my only day to do everything because I requested this day specifically for my appointments. I don't know if I should have done that. But anyway, I'm here. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. I'm going to meet my doctor for the first time. Um, so I'll let you guys know about that too. A lot of, a lot of updates. Hey guys, this is like three days later. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update so that way the video doesn't just end on nothing um the appointment went well the doctors were very informative so we you know we, we were just discussing like um birthing plan nothing set in stone but just like she wanted to share some information with me so my first baby my second baby were vaginal deliveries but micah he had to be a c-section but the way that they did the C-section, um, and because it was my first C-section ever, it 
there's like a good possibility um actually a pretty high possibility that i could have a v back so um that was actually some good news of course there's risk with that but just like there's risk with the c-section so i'm definitely you know hoping for a vaginal delivery but if i can't for whatever reason then it is what it is i will have a c-section but because my body naturally i've never had issues giving birth vaginally um and micah was a c-section only because of his condition and because of how sick i was getting that was the only reason why we did that so that is good news then they did want to discuss with me um my previous preeclampsia diagnosis with my first baby so in this pregnancy so far everything looks normal blood work looks normal everything like that is normal but they did find a little bit of protein in my urine which is a small amount they said nothing to that indicates anything too crazy they are gonna monitor that just in case my blood pressure is normal so we'll see um i also passed my glucose uh test so that's good and guys i've only gained one pound so far i'm 16 weeks pregnant and i've only gained one pound which is really good because i started my pregnancy at such a high weight i started my pregnancy at 224 so i am 225 sometimes i'm like 225.4 you know 225.6 um or 225 but i haven't gone like higher than that so that's to me that's good because i am trying to take care of myself and i'm not trying to diet because that's not necessarily healthy but i also don't want to gain so much weight because i'm already overweight <laughs> unfortunately like it is what it is you know but that is pretty much the update guys i am doing pretty good the cvs came back everything looks normal so i'm i'm pretty happy with what's going on i got to see the baby again and that is pretty much the update on my pregnancy um my nausea has gotten a little better but i'm still nauseous like when is it gonna end has anyone ever gone like into their second trimester with nausea and like it doesn't really like go away fully i don't know so let me know comment below but that's my update i wanted to share that with you guys and i will catch you guys in the next video yeah baby okay I will catch you guys in the next video.